Welcome to Focus Bright where today, we will explore Matthew 5, Beatitudes. The pivotal part of the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes are a collection of teachings by Jesus that outline the characteristics and blessings of those who embody a righteous life. In this video, we will delve into the key themes of humility, mercy, and peacemaking, among others, as we explore the profound wisdom contained in these verses. Understanding the Beatitudes is crucial for personal growth and spiritual development, guiding us towards a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Being poor in spirit as mentioned in Matthew 5 3 signifies a state of humility and recognizing our dependence on God for spiritual nourishment. It involves acknowledging our spiritual poverty and surrendering our pride and self-sufficiency. Jesus teaches that those who are poor in spirit will inherit the kingdom of heaven, emphasizing the blessings that come with a humble and contrite heart. To illustrate, consider the story of the humble beggar who found true richness in his faith despite his material poverty. Blessed are those who mourn. In Matthew 5 4, Jesus blesses those who mourn, not only for the loss of a loved one but also for the brokenness of the world and personal sins. Mourning can lead to spiritual growth by fostering empathy, compassion, and a deeper connection with God and others. It is through mourning that we confront our vulnerabilities and seek comfort in God's presence. Finding hope and joy in the midst of mourning involves trusting in God's promises of healing and restoration, knowing that our sorrows will be turned into blessings. Blessed are the meek. In Matthew 5 5, Jesus extols the virtue of meekness, which is not to be confused with weakness or passivity but rather a strength under control. Meekness involves humility, gentleness, and a peaceful spirit, leading to inheritances in the spiritual realm. Cultivating meekness can bring about inner peace, harmonious relationships, and a deeper connection with God. Viewers are encouraged to reflect on practicing meekness in their interactions, embracing patience, understanding, and a gentle spirit in their daily lives. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. In Matthew 5 6, Jesus emphasizes the importance of seeking righteousness, which involves aligning our actions and attitudes with God's standards of justice and morality. Hungering and thirsting for righteousness means actively pursuing a life of integrity, justice, and compassion. Those who earnestly seek righteousness are promised satisfaction and fulfillment, experiencing a deep sense of purpose and closeness to God. Viewers are encouraged to cultivate a hunger for righteousness by practicing honesty, kindness, and seeking justice in their daily interactions. Blessed are the merciful. In Matthew 5 7, Jesus extols the virtue of mercy, which involves showing compassion, forgiveness, and kindness towards others. Mercy plays a crucial role in fostering healthy relationships, promoting forgiveness, and cultivating empathy. Those who show mercy are promised blessings and receive mercy in return. By extending grace and compassion to others, individuals can experience transformation in their own lives and relationships, fostering healing, reconciliation, and a deeper sense of connection with others. Blessed are the pure in heart. Having a pure heart, as mentioned in Matthew 5 8, entails possessing sincerity, integrity, and moral uprightness in one's thoughts and intentions. Inner purity is essential for cultivating a genuine relationship with God and others, free from deceit and selfish motives. The pure in heart are promised blessings and a deep closeness to God, experiencing spiritual clarity and peace. Viewers are encouraged to reflect on purifying their hearts by practicing honesty, humility, and seeking to align their intentions with God's will. Blessed are the peacemakers. Peacemakers, as highlighted in Matthew 5 9, play a crucial role in resolving conflicts, promoting reconciliation, and fostering harmony in relationships and communities. By actively seeking peace, individuals can experience blessings such as unity, understanding, and a sense of fulfillment. Being a peacemaker involves listening with empathy, practicing forgiveness, and promoting dialogue. Viewers are encouraged to be peacemakers in their spheres of influence by cultivating a spirit of reconciliation, seeking common ground, and working towards peaceful resolutions in conflicts. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Facing persecution for righteousness' sake, as stated in Matthew 5:10, may arise due to standing firm in one's beliefs, values, and commitment to justice. Despite the challenges, enduring persecution for the right reasons brings blessings such as spiritual strength, courage, and a deeper intimacy with God. Viewers are encouraged to stay steadfast in their convictions, knowing that their faithfulness in the face of persecution is honored by God, and they are not alone in their struggles. Conclusion the Beatitudes in Matthew 5 1-12 offer profound teachings on humility, mercy, meekness, righteousness, and more, guiding us towards spiritual growth and blessings. 
By embodying these virtues in our daily lives, we can experience transformation, inner peace, and a closer relationship with God. I encourage you to reflect on how you can apply the lessons of the Beatitudes in your own journey, spreading kindness, seeking justice, and fostering harmony in your interactions. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video and continue exploring resources to deepen your understanding of these timeless teachings.